When you as a sacristan come to Newman, come in the door, and you notice this one might be locked. What you need to do is walk him over to the heater here, open it up, pull out the wrench, push in the bar, the wrench in, turn it, now the door is open. That's the first thing you should do. When mass is over though, don't forget to come here, unlock it, and always put this right in the heater. The next thing we will do is we'll flip on this entrance light here, and then we will continue on through the doorway, and we will flip these other two lights up to make sure it's well cleaned place for our students. We will continue to check that the sound is on. Usually the musicians will take care of that, but we just want to double check to make sure the sound is all good to go for Father. So we will take this door open, and then we can see it's on right now, but it's going to be this switch right here, right under the sound system power. You'll flip that switch and you'll be all set to go. The next step is going to be come over here to the light system and select that we are on preset 6 for the Sunday night mass. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to set up the live stream for the 8.30 mass. So right here is our selection of all the different camera angles. For this mass, we want to be able to see the priest, the altar, and the ambo all at one time. So we're going to transition from altar or camera one is what we're on and this is this screen is going to show what's going to be on the live stream so now we're going to hit start streaming and this is in this obs studio system and then we're going to click over here to the youtube live streaming and we're going to select this sunday 4 25 21 at the 8 30 p.m mass it takes a second to load And in just one second, this go live will turn red and we'll be all set to go. So we are going live and we're all set. So you can see that this is in red and it's in, it says end stream. That's how we know what we're doing. Now after mass, when you come up here, you're going to end the stream on YouTube first by clicking that. And then you'll go down here into the OBS Studio. And then you'll click Stop Stream. It's most important that we stop this stream to save our cameras and their lenses. So this is the most important that we stop the streaming in this OBS Studio. And then you're all set to go. Perfect. So now we're going to set up the tray for Mass. So we need a few essential parts. The first is going to be the bowl and the towel for Father to wash his hands during mass. We will go into the fridge here and we're going to grab a couple things out of it. Here we will grab the water, which clearly we need to fill up. So we'll grab a bottle of water to do that. We'll grab the host to add for the communion. And we will also grab the wine vessel and the priest's host. So first things first, I will put the priest's host on the paten. And if we have any students that recommend a low gluten host, that can go right on here as well. The next step will be to place the water and the wine on the tray. And then after checking how much of consecrated hosts are in the tabernacle, we will fill up one of these dishes. And that is for the other communion minister. Many times at this Mass we don't need too much, but just a little bit extra. And we also need another bowl for the communion minister to go down to the basement to distribute. And if you find any of these that are scraps, broken, before they're consecrated, we can just throw those out. All right, we need another pall on this. That way when Father's consecrating it, we can, he can have that over that so he's not breathing on that. And then the tray is all set to go. Awesome. So the next step is you're going to want to make sure that our reader here is, is here for Mass. So we're going to make sure that our reader Matt is here and that we have the right place in the book. We'll also want to make sure that the petitions are under the ambo to make sure that he's ready to read those. And before Mass, when I'm in the sacristy with Father, I'll let, know, I'll let him know who our reader is, just so he has an idea. So if they were to not come up, or just to keep an idea of who that is. And now we can turn around and we're going to see Doug taking the tray and putting it on the credence table. So we'll put it on the right side, right there. Very good. And now the 
one thing we have forgotten is the tabernacle key. So I'm going to go grab that and I'll just put it right in the tabernacle. So as we just saw, Doug checked how many consecrated hosts are in the tabernacle because we fill the bowl here based on how full the tabernacle is. So the, uh, the tabernacle is very full, so we don't need very many hosts. If there's not a lot in there, we'll have this pretty much full. That way we have enough because this is the last mass before we go into the daily masses for the week. So therefore, we need a little bit more than we'll have in our congregation tonight. So within 10 minutes before Mass, we will light the candles. And no more than 10 minutes is needed, but just before 10 minutes before Mass, we can light both the candles. We are in the Easter season, so we will also light the Easter candle. After Mass, we will take care of the vessels. So this purificator will be dirty, so we'll just do a nice quick wipe out with our hands. And then we will put it into the basket right here. We will go into this closet and we'll grab another purificator. And we will just set that with that inside fold going inside the cup. And then we will place the paten and the paul and the corporal right back on here. And we'll put it right on that middle shelf here. The next thing we will do is we will put the water and wine back in the cooler, just where we found it. And then finally we can just Decide how damp this towel is. It seems like a fresh towel before mass, so it's very damp. We'll dump out the water, and then we will take the bowls and the pall here, and we'll just put that right back into the, right back in. And we'll just place that right there. And that'll be okay because we'll use that for next Sunday mass. And then finally, we'll just take the tray, and the towel and the bowl can stay on there, and we'll just leave it right here. A couple things before we finish. We're going to make sure that the sacristy is all closed up. As we see here, we still have the collection. Now, before we started Mass, I went through and checked that we had all the you know, uh, collection I checked before I went into Mass. But now we'll go out and check to make sure that we get all the collections before Mass has started. So, All right, so we don't have any collections. And then we'll go and check the other. Perfect. So we will take this red bag and we'll zip it tight. We twist it and then we'll hit it shut. And then you'll know where the safe is once you're trained in person.